Hello! Welcome to a new video. Two words, fidget toys. I keep seeing videos about these all over the internet. They have just exploded on social media. I wanted to know what is the hype about these. I remember back then fidget spinners were a thing and I was never really into them because I thought, okay, you just spin. What's the point? You're gonna probably get bored of it really quickly. I looked up the purpose of these and there's actually more to it than just being a toy. People use these to reduce anxiety and stress. It could also improve coordination and fine motor skills. There's actually a wide variety of fidget toys, but they were just never really talked about in the past. So I really wanted to try them out. So I bought some on Etsy. Here is one of the toys that I got. This is an articulated slug fidget toy and I was just really intrigued by the features of it. What makes this a fidget toy? What classifies it? What does it do? It comes in a wide variety of colors and there's also three different sizes that you can choose from. Inside there was the toy and a thank you note for purchasing from their small business and that just makes this extra special because every single toy is homemade. Keep in mind that I am new to the whole fidget toy thing. I don't exactly know how to play with them. Some things that I really like about this is, well first of all, it's so pretty, the color. I really love the metallic shine on this and it's compact and small so you can bring it everywhere with you and it makes really nice sounds. So the sounds correspond with the movement This one is called a snapper and it's available in a few different colors. I chose the purple one. The seller was generous and gave me another fidget toy. I don't know the exact name for this one but it's basically a, a marble ball inside a really tight enclosed netting and you just push the ball with your hands and that's supposed to provide like a sensory experience. They also gave me some stickers of their branding. The purpose of this one is you basically squeeze it and it makes a snapping noise in the middle. This kind of reminded me of a stress ball except a stress ball is easier to squish but for this one it's actually quite difficult to squish. You kind of have to use a lot of strength. Because of that, I feel like it's not really for relaxing purposes. It's mostly for if you're really stressed or you want to release some anger, go ahead and take this thing out and just squeeze this thing. Release that anger. Did you just lose a game? Release that anger. I keep seeing these type of toys all over the internet. They are called Poppets and I saw Minnie Mouse and I immediately I bought it because Minnie Mouse and it's rainbow too. So far what I noticed about buying fidget toys on Etsy is your toys are packaged and personalized from a small business or just any kind of business as opposed to buying it from a big chain like Amazon or going to Target or Walmart and buying it from the store. How I would describe this is you're popping a never-ending bubble wrap in a more fun way because I've seen a ton of different shapes and different colors of these. The main thing that I'm curious about is when did these come out because it feels like it suddenly just came out of nowhere and I wonder why weren't they around when fidget spinners were around. I like these a lot more. I feel like they serve the purpose of fidget toys better than fidget spinners.
This one is pretty cool. I was really fascinated by the video on the listing and I wanted to try it out. I really tried going for toys that you typically can't find in stores. This is actually handmade. Everything from like the materials. It's also customizable from the base to the rings and the peg color. So I just chose everything to match. I picked a really pretty starry night blue glitter. Here's their business card if you guys are interested in getting this. I was mesmerized by this. The way that the rings move when you tilt the base is very hypnotizing. You can also control the movement from the back with the peg. It has two magnetic circles that connects to the middle part. That also has uh, something magnetic on the back as well. And you can control it and it's pretty cool. I can definitely see myself like just staring at this for hours because the way it looks is, like I said, really hypnotizing. We gotta take a look at the base of this because it's just absolutely stunning. The rings are also removable and the more you remove, the more movement and more free it feels. Another unique handmade toy. This one is called Moby. Moby? I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're just gonna go with Moby. I chose the custom listing, so I get to choose different color combinations. I really couldn't decide which colors I wanted because they were all so beautiful. I just told the seller that I wanted the exact one from this listing picture. This is the seller's business card. I didn't know what to expect with this because it doesn't look like a typical fidget toy, but I actually really like this. It's actually addicting to play with. It looks so simple, just a bunch of rings together, but something about it where you can play with it with one hand and how it goes in an infinite loop and how it makes sounds is so relaxing. I look forward to receiving this the most because I've never seen anything like this. This is called the Magical Fidget Sphere and it just looks like a regular bracelet but it actually can convert to a lot of things. It can be a fidget toy, it can be a candle holder, it could be a lot of things. There's also different colored beads that go with different themes you can choose from. Everything is handcrafted. I felt like I was getting something really, really classy and fancy with their business card and the way they package this. There's also a little warning that says do not turn the outer loops through the middle because if you do that, the rings or whatever will pop off. I do want to point out that in the card, it did say that it's stiff at first to maneuver, but you just got to keep playing with it and eventually it will be more smooth. You guys... This thing is so cool. I have no words. You just gotta watch it. It's just one of those things where you just watch. Last but not least, this is another poppet type of fudget, fudget, <laughs> fidget toy, and it's actually like a bracelet instead of a flat surface. It comes in a lot of different tie dye styles. I do want to say that I prefer the flat ones than this one, just because 
the bubbles are inconsistent when you're popping it you can't really pop the bubbles well when you're wearing it but you can if you take it out it's one of those fidget toys where you don't want it to be so obvious that it's a fidget toy since it's disguised as a bracelet I'm really glad I decided to try these fidget toys out because there's just so many different varieties. I enjoyed playing with them and I respect all the people who hand make these. You're amazing. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!